Hello guys, how are you? Uh, I hope you are fine. Uh, today we will talk about forex trading or trading or any platform like uh, IQ option and the other platforms. So there are basic, basic rules uh, you have to follow for all trading platforms. So let's start to learn about forex trading uh, now we'll, I will give you a bit introduction it's it's about you give money in the stock in and the market goes up and the profit you get at, in the market when they goes up and you sell at that time so you get some profit if you sell your share when the market goes down then you lose your money so the, there are two parts in the trading you have to be careful while you are uh, doing some trading uh, but if you if you wa want to sell uh, if you want to purchase any stock for a long time then it could be beneficial for you like you uh, purchasing gold or you per you uh, going to uh, purchase the share of any company which is uh, re regularly going up and up so in this way you can you you can save your money or you can get more interest so let's start the forest the forex market can be great way for the investors to trade profitably and millions of the investors particip participate daily however before getting into the forex markets traders should be familiarize themselves with how it works the terminology used and how they can participate here is a guide to get you started on your way to learning forex trading okay what is forex trading and forex trading for beginners so forex what is forex the forex is the market the largest market in the world and operates nearly every day uh, of working week around the clock with exception of holidays there are trillions of the dollars at play at any given moment on the forex market so you can understand what is the volume of that market so at every time it plays with the trillion of the dollars so you can understand how much you can earn or how much you can lose so both factors are in the same time every nation or group of the nations such as European uh, Union has their own currency which is used domestically to purchase goods however to purchase foreign um, made goods typically the currency needs to be exchanged for currency used in the country the goods were manufactured since each country has its own uh, mandatory policy many factors can affect the rate of exchange between the two countries currencies some of these factors include interest rates political development and the domestic economies so these are the uh, this is the basic of the forex so let's uh, start it ahead by my own side i want to share uh, something with you uh, you can see the, uh, the graph is going up in this side and going down going up and going down going up and down let's see another one so when you are trading you need to uh, practice it first uh, like one month or two months so you will be able to 
uh, understand the trading how to trade or how to secure your money and at what is the best time to purchase and what is the best time to sell so if you enhance the graph if you enhance the graph like like by time period uh, you have you been given down downside so you can see the longer graph the characteristic of the market for two days or for more days so in this way you can understand uh, in which sense market is going if the market is fluctuating at every t uh, time at every hour so it will be more dangerous for you but the you, you need to notice the lowest point of the market like in this video you can see this is the lowest point okay so this is the best time to purchase and this is going up this uh, profit is going up up market is going up down up up and here up this is the best place you going to sell your share okay you going to sell and if on the same time it's going down so you have to be careful you are going to sell in this point not in this point like you purchase here and you are going to sell here up till here so you will be in the profit so in this sense you have to be careful for these things because uh, many cases when you start trading you just put your money and you you buy at any point you don't know where the market is going so you have the time for one hour and within one hour what's happen you purchase from here and the other uh, within next hour the market is here so you lose your money in the beginning so be careful while you uh, going to purchase okay like you you need to uh, expand the paragraph just find out the characteristic of at least two days or three days of the market what is going on and then squeeze it to the of one day and then one hour what is going on then you will be able to learn if, if the graph is going too much down then let it uh, let it uh, go let it going down okay so when it will be downside then purchase them so you will purchase in the lowest position and you will sell on the highest position so within this position you will get margin so this is your profit if you are going to sell your money uh, after sell your share after the market has going down before the, your starting point then you are going to lose your money so this is the basic of the trading forex trading iq uh, option and there are a lot of uh, market places same like this so i hope uh, you understand a bit so this is also the same type uh, if anybody is going to buy here this is the loss like it's the boom point and it's going to buy here this is he, he is going to lose his money and this guy if he buy this share from here and you he is going to sell here then he is in the profit he is in the profit if he purchased these uh, shares from here if you are going to purchase here like on the top position obviously it's is showing the red sign the market will go to downside and you will lose your money here 